is pretty evident yep. for everybody. Uh, you went a little bit different direction with another veteran in Chris Ionetta. Um, can you describe from your point of view at this stage of his career, what is his, what is his leadership value right now? Um, well, uh, it's kind of, I think it's multifaceted. Okay. I think part of it is that, you know, Chris is now in his mid-30s, right? He's been playing this game at, at the Major League level for a long time. So he's been through a lot at a very important position. He's, uh, you know, he's grown a lot over, I think, the course of his Major League career. So that, and the second part of it is that it points to where he started his major league career and his minor league career and his, his professional career is with us. And so that, that feeling of, of knowing who he is at his core, um, what he's about, and being able to kind of see that growth, you know, after we traded him and, and, and paying attention to his career um, away from the Rockies, it's been it's been really fun to see. I think one of the, the main things that we saw a couple years ago, and I think he credits the Angels, and he credits I think the the Mariners as well, is, is was his pitch framing and, and just being a little bit more focused on and, and just bettering himself in some ways. Um, you know, from that perspective, uh, you know, th those are cool things to see when guys grow like that and develop at the major league level because the the major league level is telling him things that. You know, and he's responsive to it, and he's aware of it, and so, um, you know, and 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 feeling good about the person, and feeling good about the 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 leader, and seeing him as a, you know, as a man at that position, and 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 somebody that can lead a staff and help lead other men. Um, you know, I, I think those are some of the lessons that that he learned over time in that position and and those are valuable things uh, when you have a when you have youth especially when you have youth on a on a starting rotation you know or in a starting rotation and um, we're excited of the that presence and that and that experience that he brings and then it helps that he had one of his best years at the plate last year with Arizona sure so. yeah I mean and and there's no reason that you know if if we're if we're all intelligent in terms of how much he plays and and you know the the you know if you look back at our history anyway with catchers it's pretty much a timeshare some way one way or another right and so it's probably going to be the same as long as we can keep everybody healthy it'll be some sort of timeshare and um you know we feel like he can be a big part of a of a playoff roster did he shorten the learning curve for your other catchers as far as leadership pitch framing or is that something that you just have to play to do it, or is there a role he can play in that? I, I think he can. I don't know specifically about the pitch framing. I know that uh, there are a lot of lessons that I think our younger catchers will be able to take from him. I think he would probably be able to tell you, you know, more specifically what he thinks those might be. Um, but I don't. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly. You know what's at the top of his list or you know what other guys might feel like they can take from him you know it's probably going to be an individual type of thing for each guy. Well, speaking of learning curves do you, do you notice about this might be a better question for them the players can you have a recent history of young players making an impact earlier Etc. Do you think it translates to players who come after Ryan McMahon, for instance? I mean, I know every path is unique. I think it. Um, I think it depends on the players. I think it depends on the people involved. Um, I think it depends sometimes on on the veteran and and how much those veterans are willing to invest in others and share. Uh, and I think it depends on the younger players and how much. They are willing to um, let their guard down and let other people in and, and let peers help coach and help teach. Um, you know, when, when those things are matched up well, man, it's awesome to see. You know, it's fun. It's a lot. That's, that's where a lot of fun comes, you know, is to see these guys helping each other out and making each other better. Um, does it always happen perfectly? No. But... Um,